eneo bunge la subukia sub county yetu ndio imekuwa the last the last like four years subu, eh, nakuru county yote eh, youth hawaoni maana ya masomo the environment is done the, the government has done its part mumejengoa madarasa saa hii karibu subukia yote madarasa ziko sawa lakini masomo iko chini kwa hivyo sasa tunaenda to the next level let us support the teachers kwa njia zozote let us be talking to these students tuongee nao wajue umuhimu ya masomo na mimi kama mtu ambaye nimetoka chini na nimelelewa na kuzaliwa subukia mimi niliamua kuwa kipaumbele mimi nitachukua eh, wakati wangu nitaenda nikiongea nao tutaenda tukiwabadilisha pole pole is a culture culture itengenezwe ina siku moja you have to, to do it over time paka ikuwe part of their life wakienda hivi shule ijulikane hii shule sasa mnaingia ukiambo hii shule wanapita 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 hata mwanafunzi akiingia anajua yeye hawezi kuja kulala fanya kazi pamoja kama stakeholders na stakeholders ni wazazi na walimu na, ma, na wa, 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 wa leaders tushikane tujue subukia ni yetu na lazima tufanye kazi pamoja tusaidie watoto wetu wainuke kimasomo kwa majina mimi naitwa Hussein uh, Dida uh, ndiye mwanzilishi wa Hussein Dida Foundation uh, hii foundation tulianzisha mwaka wa 2021 ikiwa na uh, tukiwa na M3 ya kwanza ni ku support youth na youth na support through sports na una support through masomo uh, na ya pili ilikuwa mambo ya environment na vile tulisema mambo ya sports unawasaidia na vifaa za michezo kama uniform kama nini, training kits na mipira na nets zote tunawasaidia naye lakini kwa hivi leo tumekutana na beneficiaries wa foundation wale ambao wanafaidika na mambo ya masomo uh, tulichagua watoto ambao wamefanya KCP na wamefanya vizuri na wametoka kwa familia ambazo hazijiwezi familia ambayo labda ni mayatima uh, wengine pia ni familia ambayo wako na wazazi wote wawili lakini hawajiwezi wengine ni familia ya kutoka kwa labda mzazi ni mmoja ama mzazi yako ni mlemavu tunaangalia umaskini na uhitaji wake na tukaona ni vyema tuangalie wale ambao wanaingia form 1 kwa sababu hapo ndio inakuwa mzigo. Kuna vitu nyingi zinaitishwa kwa shule. Wazazi wanaona hii ni mzigo kubwa, hawana wanaacha watoto wa wa, wa, wa nyumbani. Ama wameitwa kwa shule mzuri, anaona hawezi anampeleka kwa local school mahali ambapo si si ahitaji pesa mingi. Kwa hivyo tukaona tusaidie watoto waweze kuingia form 1. Tukajua kutoka hapo kuna bursary ambazo zinapeanwa na CDF. Kuna bursary zinapeanwa na county government na kuna zile zinapeana na kina equity foundation na vitu kama hizo. So those ones uh, tunajua watachukuliwa baadaye wata once ameingia hii kuendelea ni rahisi. Kwa hivyo tunachukua mahali mzigo inahitajika sana tunasaidia hapo. Um, tangu tuanzisha hii eh, program uh, me, sasa ni miaka tatu. Leo tumeona badala ya kupatiana tu pesa tunalipa kwa shule tu pia tuite hawa watoto pamoja tuongee nao kwa sababu e, ni vyema kupeana pesa yes lakini hawa watoto wamesaidiwa wanajua aje hiyo usaidizi ni ya nini kama wameingia shule lazima tuongee nao tuwa encourage tuwaambie wa, tumewasaidia yes lakini ujue maisha ni yako masomo ni muhimu wewe ndio utadetermine where you go next kwa hivyo we, uh, leo ni kama counseling session We are tu, tunaongea nao tuwa encourage tuambie mambo ya choice of uh, career mambo ya ku, kuachana na grouping mambo ya kuachana na mambo ya drugs mambo ya kuwa wajue mahali wametoka na wajue mahali wanaenda ni ina, inategemea ile kujitolea watajitolea ku, kuenda mbele kwa hivyo siku ya leo tumeita beneficiaries wote tangu wakati wa kwanza which is in 2021 Uh, pia beneficiary uzo wa mwaka huu tuli identify two weeks ago uh, tuko na hiyo list na pia hao wako hapa na tutaongea nao alafu shule ikifunguliwa 
uh, once kila mtu amepata ile shule anaenda tutaandika ma checks bankers checks tupatiane kwa kila shule kwa hivyo kama shule moja iko na watoto watano tunaandika one bankers check na list tunapeleka kwa shule na tutaipeleka individually kwa kila shule within the constituency um, basari uh, e foundation wakati tuli, tulianzisha tulianzisha kwa ward inaitwa waseges waseges is the poorest ward in subukia huko ndio kuna shida ya maji kuna shida ya kiangazi kuna shida ya um, na kutembea yani basically barabara kuna shida ya barabara kufikia hawa watu ni ngumu sana kwa hivyo tulianzisha na waseges but uh, tukarudi tukaona pia subukia iko na mahitaji yake kabazi iko na mahitaji yake kuna pia pande ya solai na huko chini pia wako same challenges na kama waseges so tukaona badala ya kubagua tufanye tu waseges peke yake we expanded it to the three wards za subukia so the foundation now it's covering the whole of uh, subukia constituency na we intend to grow it as resources become available tutaendelea ku expand na kuongeza numbers uh, for now the foundation we save as a family hakuna pesa tunaitisha kwa well wishers but uh, with time naona tuta kwa sababu tunaacha wengi nje yeah? kama sasa tulikuwa tumesema tutapatia watoto 75 mahitaji kakuwa mingi mwaka huu tumechukua 103 na hiyo haikuwa kwa budget lakini tutajikaza kama familia tuweze ku, 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 kuchukua wote kusaidia wote kwa hivyo ni matumaini yetu pia vile tunaendelea tukiweka structures the foundation ikiendelea kuwa na structures we will be able to pick more students na tuweza kusaidia wengi m ni kuinua maisha ya kwa kila familia tukiweza kuinua mmoja wengine watasaidika Tuna, tuta, tunajaribu kuangalia ile familia iko na mahitaji kabisa tunachukua mtoto mmoja tutamfuatilia tunaangalia vile ana perform kwa shule tunaongea nao with the aim mmoja akiinuka hiyo familia tumeinua tuchukue ingine tuinue pia at the end of the day tuone constituency yetu imeinuka hiyo ndio target ya hiyo foundation motivation ya hii maneno yote inatokea kwa mahali mimi nilitoka Uh, mimi nikiwa primary nilipoteza wazazi na sisi tulikuwa squatters na wakati waliondoka watu wa kijiji walishikana wakafanya harambe tukasomeshwa through harambe uh, nikapata sponsor akanisomesha uh, high school uh, after high school pia hiyo sponsor aka akaaga nikarudi tena kwa kijiji wakachanga tena pesa Alafu kuna university kuna hii higher education loans board ikanisaidia nikamaliza. So wakati nilienda nikapata kazi nikasema sasa kwa sababu kusaidiwa ndio imenifikisha mahali niko. Kwa hivyo hata mimi nikasema I will give back to the society nitajaribu as much as I can pia mimi kusaidia wengine wainuke kila mtu akiinuka dunia inakuwa nzuri. Eneo bunge la Subukia sub county yetu ndio imekuwa the last the last like four years subu eh, nakuru county yote na changamoto yetu ni guidance tunajaribu kuita wat, wanafunzi pamoja tunajaribu kuongea nao eh, youth hawaoni maana ya masomo kwa hivyo hiyo support sisi tujaribu walimu wanafanya kupati yao but you know as parents as uh, adults within the constituency lazima tuwasaidie wakati wetu tukiwa wadogo Tulisomea madarasa aina uh, flow. Tulisomea madarasa aina dirisha lakini tulipita. Kwa hivyo kile tunaambia wanafunzi the environment is done. Watu wa nini the, the government has done its part. Mmejengoa madarasa saa hii karibu subukia yote madarasa ziko sawa lakini masomo iko chini. Kwa hivyo sasa tunaenda to the next level. Let us support the teachers kwa njia zozote. Let us be talking to these students tuongee nao wajue umuhimu ya masomo. Na mimi kama mtu ambaye nimetoka chini na nimelelewa na kuzaliwa subukia, mimi niliamua kuwa kipaumbele. Mimi nitachukua e, wakati wangu nitaenda nikiongea nao, tutaenda tukiwabadilisha pole pole. Is a culture. Culture itengenezwe ina siku moja. You have to, to do it over time. Paka ikuwe part of their life. 
wakienda hivi shule ijulikane hii shule sasa mnaingia ukiambiwa hii shule wanapita 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 hata mwanafunzi akiingia anajua yeye hawezi kuja kulala kwa hivyo lazima tuchukue time tufanye kazi pamoja kama stakeholders na stakeholders ni wazazi na walimu na, ma, na wa, 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 wa leaders tushikane tujue subukia ni yetu na lazima tufanye kazi pamoja tusaidie watoto wetu wainuke kimasomo mimi nilifanya KCP 1993 1992 mwezi wa 8 nikapoteza mamangu. Alafu ah, babangu sorry. Alafu mwezi wa pili nikiwa class 8 ndio nilipoteza mamangu. So waliachana na miezi sita. Na wakati waliachana hata mahali pa kuishi hatukua. Na nikaweza kuchukuliwa na community. Kuna mmoja wa waigizaji wa alikuwa na private primary school. Yeye akanichukua nikasoma class 8 uh, bila kulipa chochote. Uh, alafu E, nikamaliza nikapita vizuri nikaitwa shule inaitwa Njoro Boys. Uh, one of our local peer akanichukua akanipeleka kwa mzungu alikuwa anaitwa Dr. Anne Spori. Alikuwa anafanya AMREF. huyo uh, mzungu akanichukua akaweza kunilipia school fees miaka ine Alafu pia nilipomaliza nikapita akanipeleka college Nakuru kufanya sa, sa, uh, accountancy course but katikati hapo akaaga pia. So nika drop out ya hiyo course ya, ya consultancy, uh, accountancy nikarudi nyumbani, nikangojea hadi wakati niliitwa university. Wakati niliitwa university Kenyatta University, uh, tukafanya harambe kama community. Ile pesa ilinisaidia kuingia na vile tunafanya saa hii, hii pesa ya kusaidia watoto kuingia form 1, mimi nilifanywa harambe nikaingia first year. Tuwaka, wakati niliingia first year sasa nikaenda kujitetea help nikaweza kulipiwa na help that is the same thing tunafuatilia mtoto akiingia kuendelea ni rahisi ni kama gari gari ukienda kusukuma ukianza inakuwa ni mzito lakini ikianza kutembea mguu ikianza kutembea unaona hata ni inakuwa rahisi so hiyo muziko ndio tunajaribu kuiondolea wazazi wale hawajiwezi ndio watoto wakiingia waingie na iendelee tunapeana a flat fee ya 5000 na tunalipa kwa shule uh, mwaka huu tulikuwa tunataka kuchukua watoto 75 lakini zile demands zilikuwa nyingi kwa hivyo tumechukua 103 na kila mwanafunzi tunampatia 1500 kwa hivyo hiyo ndio pesa tumetumia na kila tulisema we are not looking at ile pesa tumetumia we are looking at the impact of that money in 5 to 10 years tunataka kuona ni nani tumebadilisha maisha yake kwa hawa watoto wa 103 hata tukiweza kubadilisha yote ama tubadilishe 80% hiyo group ndio itakuja kusaidia wengine nyuma yetu. Kwa hivyo we are looking at the impact na the reason why tumewaita leo is because we want to emphasize hatuwasaidii tu because tunawapatia pesa. Tunawasaidia ndio maisha yao ibadilike. Kama mkutano wa leo ni follow up. Wale tulisaidia 2021 sahi wako form 3 tunafanya follow up. Wale walitulisaidia last year sahi wanaingia form 2 tunafanya follow up hawa wanaingia saa hii tunafanya follow up so part of this uh, this is an annual meeting this is the first one tumefanya tuliona every time we do we need to do improvement na tutaendelea tuta, tuta kuangalia na kuwaongea nao kuna wengine unasikia wa, walikuwa wamepoteza wazazi uh, saa hii hata guardian yule alikuwa nakaa naye wameaga sasa watoto kama hata tunajaribu kuangalia kama community tutawasaidia aje kwa sababu sasa hata mahali pa kukaa hana. Unaona? Hakuna hata guardian. So kama huyo ni tuchukue vile yataingia kwa community, tutafute mtu atamuadopt, tuendelee ku kuwasaidia. Tulikuwa tulianzisha hii foundation vile nilisema tulianzisha kama family. Na tulianzisha through savings. Na target yetu ni tuendelee. Sasa tu, tutaanza ku once kazi ile tumefanya ikionekana na hata tukiita marafiki wasaidie wanaona ni kitu imeanzishwa na inaendelea but ultimately ultimately ni tutengeneza kitu inaitwa endowment fund endowment fund hiyo pesa tunaenda tuchange tupeleke hiyo pesa hata kwa bank ile interest ambayo tunapata kwa bank ndio tutakuwa tukitumia ku, kulipia watoto eh, school fees kwa hivyo uh, we, we are We, are, we started as a foundation uh, tutaenda to the next level tuite marafiki watusaidie 
tuita corporate companies watusaidie marafiki zetu kwa makampuni lakini the ultimate goal in five, five years or so we need to start what we call an endowment fund uh, and then we stop using our name kama usain dida foundation we call it like subukia uh, constituency education uh, endowment fund tukipata hiyo iache kuwa ati ni usain ikuwe ni kitu ya constituency na ikiwa kitu ya constituency tuweze kusaidia watoto wetu it is something we should do for posterity not 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 for short term source of fund is funny because uh, uh, i work in a, an international firm uh, as an it uh, as a ceo and uh, my work involves a lot of traveling and uh, when i travel i'm paid per diem i don't use a coin out of the per diem all that money i save is what i give back to the society so basically is savings from money that is outside my payroll uh, pay slip that i save and give back to the society pia uh, mwezi wa kumi mwaka huu uh, tulifungua hoteli inaitwa angani resort iko pale subukia um, kwa wengi ambao wa, 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 unajua jina naitwa usain uh, sisi hatuamini mambo ya pombe na lakini kwa hoteli una, una, unaangalia customers kuna wale ambao wanapenda mambo ya pombe wengine wapendi mambo ya pombe so na hii ikiwa biashara unafanya hii biashara kama biashara ya kawaida na kile tumefanya tumeweka um, uh, tumetofautisha hii biashara yetu tumeweka tofauti pesa ambazo zinaingia kutoka kwa hoteli kwa rooms inaingia kando na pesa zile zinaingia kutoka kwa bar tunaweka kando the profit that we get from the bar we take it back to the society 100% kwa hivyo ile profit tunapata kutoka kwa bar tuna, tu, tunairudisha kwa community kusaidiana kutoka wasages viumiridi hii foundation ya Hussein Faith ilianza 2021 na wenye wanasaidiwa ni watoto wenye kabisa wanaonekana wa hawajiwezi wazazi hawajiwezi na watoto wanataka kusoma kwa hivyo wakati walianza wakatuita kama kamiti twende kwa vijiji tuchague watoto na penye tulisema tuliomba Mungu ili tupate kwa watoto wenye wanastahili na hawa ndio tulipata na ndio hawa tunawaleta hapa kwa hivyo tunashukuru mheshimiwa aifa ukienda kwa kijiji kuna kabisa mzazi ajiwezi mwingine ni mamtamafu mtu mwingine ni shoshwa amewachua watoto kwa hivyo tukaona ni vizuri tunachukua hawa ndio kabisa ajiwezi kwa majina yangu naitwa Faith Cherry Kimani I'm the I'm mimi ndio coordinator wa Hussein Dida Foundation tulianza 2021 na ni baada mheshimiwa Hussein kuna kitu kuna wakati alitaka kuvae kiti NCA na tukasunguka tulipokuwa tukisunguka tukakuta kuwa kuna watoto wengi wa, wanahitimu kwenda form 1 with high marks but kwa sababu ni vulnerable yani kusema hawajiwezi watatu watoto hawajiwezi wazazi hawajiwezi wengine kwanza alitushauri tuanze na yatima watoto yatima watoto yani wale wa, uh, kabisa kabisa hawana wazazi both parents ni yatima sasa tuka, tukaenda ground tukakuta kuna yatima lakini wengi si yatima kuna wao ni maskini wazazi ni maskini kuna wao wazazi wana ni, ni wana, wana urema kuna wao ambao ni wa single mothers au ndio tuliambiwa twende ground tutafute mtoto mwenye amehitimu na ameshindwa kwenda form 1 kwa hivyo hatuchukuagi tuna tulianzisha hii foundation tulianzisha na watoto wa form, wanye wana join form 1 ili kwa sababu mostly tu wana ah, wakienda form 2 wanapata bursary kutoka CDF but wakiingia form 1 hawapatagi sasa mtoto kuingia kuingia ukiwa vulnerable form 1 inakuwa shida sasa hawa ndio tulichukua eh, na tulia, akatuambia the best way ni kwenda kwa kila shule unauliza headmaster nani hapa ame perform best but ni vulnerable hivyo ndivyo tumekuwa tukifanya my name is Isaac Mongai a uh, beneficiary of Faith Hussein Foundation and uh, in the year 2022 
uh, I graduated and through this foundation I've managed to join a, a company where we are, I'm working as a software developer and I believe this foundation uh, will help many to equip them uh, and get the opportunities of this life. Yeah, I believe most of the vulnerable to, uh, kids, uh, what they lack is a support uh, to get access to it, uh, a good education. And I believe by this foundation, uh, this kid will get a good education and uh, which will equip them uh, to unlock their opportunities. I was raised, raised by my both parents uh, and uh, for the kids, uh, they really struggled maybe for the school fees, uh, but they managed to pay for my school fees. And uh, when uh, I graduated from my uh, uh, campus, or when I uh, attained my bachelor degree, uh, we, uh, we, we connected with Hussein, and I, he has really been a help to me, because uh, through him, I've managed to get into the, to the workspace, where I've managed to get uh, the, the required experience, yeah, that uh, helped me out, equip me in this field. Hi, my name is Yvonne Kinanjui and I'm one of the beneficiaries of the Faith Hussein Foundation. Um, it came to help me last year in 2022 because uh, I was hit hard after the COVID-19 um, crisis. Right after campus, um, though it did help me, but it wasn't as a foundation at the time, it was just the couple who helped me. Uh, right after campus, I didn't have a job. I stayed at home for almost nine months. I'm a daughter to a single mother, so it was very hard trying to look for a job uh, with unemployment being so high. So uh, Faith and Hussein uh, did uh, help me get a job uh, somewhere in a fintech company called Afisan, and since then I have thrived. I want to say uh, thank you very much and to shine light on the foundation. This foundation has helped so many people from orphans who don't have parents who can uh, afford it to children of single mothers who don't have a, a place to turn to, especially in this small valley of ours. We want to say thank you very much and um, we hope that we can continue helping more people and more children next year.